PHP Storm 2021.2 is now available. In this video, we'll take a quick look at some of its most exciting features. PHP Storm has started rolling out support for the upcoming PHP 8.1. You can already set the corresponding language level in preferences, in the status bar, or by specifying the version requirement in composer.json. Or you can start using new PHP 8.1 features such as enums right away. And PHP Storm will offer to switch the language level from the code editor. Enums are a new feature in PHP 8.1. When working with enums, PHP Storm will provide code completion and alert you to any syntax issues. Since enums can be used as type declarations and parameters, return values, and class properties, PHP Storm will check the types and highlight violations. You can quickly create new enum cases with a quick fix. Type a case usage as if it existed, and then use the provided add enum case quick fix. By default, enums are simple singleton objects. But you can also define scalar values for cases so that an enum becomes a backed enum. You can then use the quick fix to add a type declaration for the whole enum and thus fully convert a standard enum into a backed one. Lastly, all enums have a number of built-in methods that you cannot redefine, so PHP Storm highlights the cases where such errors occur. In PHP Storm 2021.2, you can use generic class collections. For example, here we've got a generic collection that is used universally across various types, and here we've got a method that's supposed to return a collection of user objects. Without additional instructions, iterating over such an array would be harder as code completion would not be provided. With generic collection support, however, you can annotate the function and code completion becomes available. Another application of generics is factories. With such code, you pass a class name string as an argument and receive an object as a result. Initially, you won't get code completion in this and similar cases, but you can annotate a parameter with the class string tag, and completion will become available. If you use the new operator to instantiate an object from a parameter, you can omit the class string annotation completely. Lastly, you can use the extend and implement annotations to extend template classes and implement interfaces. In PHP Storm 2020.3, we introduced the array shape attribute, which lets you specify the structure of object-like arrays so that PHP Storm can provide appropriate code completion. We're now adding support for the PHP doc syntax as well. This support is limited to one-line array definitions. Multi-line syntax and nested array shapes are not currently supported. The extract method refactoring has received several noticeable improvements. First, the refactoring now works coupled with the duplicated code fragment inspection. The inspector highlights the first line of each duplicated code fragment, and with the new extract method quick fix, you can start the refactoring right from here and replace all duplicate fragments with the extracted method call. PHP Storm can also find smaller duplicates in the current method, class, or file during the refactoring. When you select some code and start the refactoring, select the Review Duplicates checkbox in the dialog, and then apply the refactoring to all located duplicates. Next, the default naming for extracted methods has been improved. PHP Storm now also takes into account the expression type, the name from a method call, variables used, comments, and other factors when suggesting a name. Lastly, selecting code for refactoring has improved too. If you invoke the refactoring without selecting any code, PHP Storm 2021.2 will suggest several fragments, excluding invalid or meaningless chunks. For example, here, the assignment expression is skipped and you can choose to extract its right part. The expand and shrink selection actions, which you can invoke via option up, option down, now let you select code blocks without including curly braces in the selection. With each release, PHP Storm can detect even more problematic spots in your code and offer you helpful context actions to deal with them. 
You can replace unnecessary checks for null with the new nullsafe operator from PHP 8. Press Alt Enter and apply the quick fix. PHP Storm will now highlight the constants that are defined in a class, but are accessed via a subclass or sub interface. This kind of code can be confusing, so you can replace the name of the entity with the one where the constant is actually defined. PHP Storm will now evaluate parts of conditions to identify any redundant ones. This could be useful when the checks are not obvious, and you can't tell which ones are redundant by looking at them. A totally new group of inspections called Refactoring Opportunities is now available under Preferences, Editor, Inspections, PHP. These inspections are combinations of different code quality metrics, cyclomatic complexity, nesting depth, number of variables used, and so on. With their help, you can find good candidates for refactoring. Even though the inspections are disabled by default, PHP Storm will still display an additional gutter icon near the detected issue. Clicking the gutter icon will invoke the suggested refactoring. In this release, we fixed a lot of issues with formatting, making it a lot more accurate. To format your code, select it and press Command-Alt-L or don't select anything, and press Command-Alt-L to reformat the entire file. All code style options are available under Preferences, Editor, Code Style, PHP. You can also select a piece of code where you want to change the formatting and press Command-Shift-A. Find the Adjust Code Style Settings action and specify the desired options in the pop-up dialog. PHP Storm inherits many improvements from the IntelliJ platform with every release, and here's what you can find in 2021.2. Now, you can run various actions on save. All the related options are available under Preferences, Tools, Actions on Save. This list of actions can be triggered with Command S. Most of the actions will be triggered on any save, which includes autosave and explicit save actions. For file watchers and the upload to default server action, you can choose between the two options whenever you want them to be activated. PHP Storm can automatically perform a wide range of actions before a commit. In this release, the option to run tests is available. Click the gear icon in the commit view, select run tests, and choose the necessary run configuration. PHP Storm will run the tests and notify you if anything is wrong. You can also now customize the Analyze code and clean up options by clicking Choose Profile next to them and choosing the desired profile. The progress and results of pre-commit checks are displayed right in the commit area, without any additional modal windows. You can now enable Git commit signing with GPG. In Preferences, go to Version Control, Git. If you have a GPG key configured, select it from the list here. That sums up the major new features in PHP Storm 2021.2, but there's even more to discover. You can learn more on our blog and download the new version from our website. You'll find the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.